This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? This is the Hi5 set, and in this video, we're gonna review the interior. It looks like a spaceship on the outside. Is it also like a spaceship inside? And can that spaceship take regular baby stroller and car seat? Well, uh, we'll see. So let's start with the front, front, then. yeah. So see, this car actually has a little frunk. It's small, Asian size. Uh, it's so small that uh, you can't even fit the regular Type 2 cable. So uh, I'm not sure what the heck you're supposed to put in here. Maybe some of the lunch. <laughs> but man, look at this back. Oh, it is so cool. It's so unlike anything else I've ever seen. So I haven't found any kick sensor, but okay. We have a button here. And this is a weird, uh, I don't know, I should call it hatch or a hatchback or sedan, but uh, yeah, there is a little bit of space here. And here you see the male, male type two cable. This is weird because this is what they use in China. So yeah, you actually get this gay cable with the car. Uh, also, they also provide you with one uh, CCS to GBT adapter. I just happen to have two in case one and then break down. So yeah, I can show that the charge port is over here. Uh, charge port is on the right side with the wrong side, should have been left side with the right side. So here's the GPT port, and you see that the Type 2 port here is like this, it's, it's inverted gender. I don't know what they use this. <laughs> yeah, and, okay, anyway. And then here we have a tool in case the car breaks down. And just always bring your tool. And then here we have a little pocket for storing your shit. But yeah, here, look, look, we have a 12 volt outlet there, and we can actually fold the seat from here. Ah, uh, look at that, electronically, huh? I mean, even the i5, yeah, the BMW i5 M60 doesn't have this feature. Then you can also take it up. Yeah, why not, huh? Of course, it's, it's a Chinese luxury car, and they also padded the whole trunk. But look at the size of the trunk. Uh, I suppose this is where part of the speakers are. So, all right, and then under here, under the trunk, you also have, well, uh, some space for your your uh, Kia certificate, yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much it. So, all right, um, okay, let me measure some stuff. So let's first measure the length of the trunk. Uh, 90, uh, 92, uh, no, 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 91 centimeter. And then the width here, is uh, 99 centimeters and then or uh, maybe th this this opening here how big is this uh, it's only 66 centimeters uh, wh what about the height here in the trunk uh, this is quite poor 47 centimeters and loading height I mean you have this hump up here so let the measure it from roughly there to the ground that is 77 centimeters so it's like one of the worst uh, trunks ever. Okay, let me try something. And then we might as well also measure. Uh, okay, I had to fold the seats. And then if I measure the length here to the driver's seat, then we have, oh, 195 centimeters. That's at least good. And then the length here to the passenger seat, I have pushed the passenger seat all the way forward. That's 222 centimeters. And then diagonally, we have roughly 227 centimeter and if you're planning on transporting something big then you have to know the limitation you see that the opening is a bit small uh, so if you want to put the bicycle in here i'm not sure how well it fits uh, but this opening is also similar to ionic 6 and i5 but just to show you in comparison we have highland over here and you know highland is even 30 centimeters shorter than the set but Look, the, the trunk here, they utilize the space way better. You know, just to compare, right? And also, the trunk is fairly deep. And I also folded the seat, and you see the opening here is way, way bigger. So you can actually fit, uh, a, a, let's say, a big bike, I don't know, a fat bike in here, which you might not be able to fit over there. And then, as usual, I would try to put the Cybex e Priam in here. This is an electric stroller. I love it. And you see that it is just medium size. You know this Emma Junga, those Swedish strollers. They have bigger wheels, bigger frame. Everything is just bigger here. It's actually considered not that big. Let's see how it fit in the trunk then. So for practical reasons, I want to put the seat pack in first. 
because uh, uh, sometimes I don't want to use it. Oh wow, what the heck? Um, seems like I have to. It doesn't fit there properly. Well, how do you put? Huh? Well, that one already takes a lot of space. What about the frame? Well, this you can see simply doesn't fit lengthwise. Maybe in the okay. I don't want to dirty that. Okay, then I have to take out the the seat pack at least, and then put the frame in first. So let me see. Will it fit lengthwise now? Then nine. Okay. Uh, but I can see that. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Threat is ninja. You can fit it like this at least. Oh, that should close. Let me check. Will it close? If that closes, then we might be able to put the other one in there. Oh yeah! Okay, so now, but we have to put it in the, the reverse order. It's not that practical, but at least if it fits. Okay. And normally I will have it like this because this is how we want to have it. In. So you might have to fold this to make it smaller. And then just squeeze it in. Wait, how do we... How do we... How, why do you have to struggle so much? Uh, here, here, here. Because in the Model 3, we just have right next to us, uh, it fit just fine. No problem. Oh, well. Shit. Wait. Okay, okay, I did the bad folding, all right? Where did it hit now? Huh? Where, where did it hit you, huh? Did it hit you over there? Okay, let me see. Um, you just have to... You just have to know your car, which I don't know because this is just a press car, but this should work, right? I mean, it, it is as flat as it can be now. Yes! Oh. But you see, it is not optimized at all for putting even a medium-sized stroller. So maybe they don't have babies in China. But this is where the magic happens, in the back seat. Voila! Okay, so I need to measure the width of the seat here also. Let's see. Uh, roughly there. Wow, okay, 131 centimeters. And then what about uh, the seat height? Oh, shit. Oh, I can see now. And you know, I'm just a small Asian. I'm still 173 centimeters. And I even have problems getting in here. How are you supposed to? No, no, of course, I, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, you're supposed to do it like this. Ugh. Oh, this is dignified. Ugh. Ugh. But then if I have snow, I have to... Do this and then yeah this is of course how you're supposed to do it everything wait what the heck man why it's been sitting here what okay man let's see oh the seat height oh the seat height is quite poor we're talking about only 27 centimeters preferably you want to have over 30 even 35 centimeters will be good so 27 here is not good at all you you know you sit almost like this i don't know if you can see it there uh, yeah so you can try to stretch it up but even for me it's not that comfortable. For my wife, who is 151 centimeter, a small Asian, then it is fine. Wait, how do I close the door now? You know, some of the other cars, uh, they have a button here. Here, you have to just pull. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And then to open it, what well, is interesting, the way that the window buttons are, like this. All right. Okay. But wait, does it go automatically? No, you have to press and hold. Okay, but the interior, let me switch here. Soft, nice soft materials everywhere. Nice, I like it. Okay, let's open the door again. Here you see the Meridian speaker grill. And then look here. So lengthwise, we have plenty of space. However, it is not possible to put your feet under the front seat, probably because this car is so low. So it's funny, you can see the Marcus Bill. <laughs> yeah, also I need to point out that you only have digital mirror there because for some reason um, there is no visual space here. Uh, you have the Meridian speakers here, which probably also eats up some space at the bottom uh, below it. And yeah, that's why you only have the mirror, uh, the, the digital mirror. But man, the seats, they just look stunning. And also a uh, purple seat belt. Huh, purple, is that even legal here in Europe? <laughs> Shit. Okay, and also, yeah, here, let me show you that. Well, if you want to sit in the middle seat, there is no... Oh, shit! Oh, we can also, we can do that now. Okay, let's, let's do it. When I sit here, you see, it has these dips, so you sit really comfortable here. Also, I was with wifey, just did a, a local drive around here, right? And she sat in here first, she asked, hey, what, what car is this? I said, high five. 
set. And the issue was, what kind of brand? Hi fi. <laughs> you know, uh, it's like in the early days, and people like, what is, what is that? It's a, it's a Tesla. Okay, huh? What, what brand is it? Is it a Toyota? No, it's Tesla. Oh, I just realized I found it here. Oh, yeah, there's where you close the door. Ah, noise. What is this? Wait, there's a camera there. Yeah, sending data to China. Wait, huh? Okay, that's funny. This button can only be used to close the door, whereas this button can be used to open the door with the sound effects. But can you also close the door with this? Oh, oh, okay, no. So it seems like uh, Chinese people, they just put one function on each button. This is only for opening the door. This is only for closing the door. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. But okay, anyway, yeah, my, my wifey, I mean, yeah, my my wife, she said that these are some nice seats. I'm like, yeah, 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 they are. Yeah, so without me asking, she said that they had nice seats. But look here. So, okay, uh, it's not optimized for having uh, three people in the back, even though you could probably put three small Chinese people. Yeah, today's more Chinese in the back here. That would work just fine. But here, how much space do I have here? Oh, oh, I don't even have a fist. I have. Uh, one one finger of clearance. That's it. Yeah. Okay. That's not much clearance at all. Uh, so for me, it will work. But I kind of rub my hair against the the roof here, even the glass roof, which utilizes space really well. So it is tight. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it even gets worse now. Oh shit! I I can't even sit upright. I have to crunch down like this, a crunching tiger. Ugh. So. No, I was <laughs> so no, not good space there. But look, look, look! It is optimized for small Asians. Look at that big fat center console. Oh, okay, yeah. But no ski opening because uh, I don't think they have snow in China. Uh, but 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 look 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 here look here. Hi-fi. What slide to unlock? Whoa! Whoa, you see, you can control the music here. You can even adjust your seat, huh? Just keep the seat as it is. Yeah, okay. Can heating. Okay, cool. But look, 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 look. You can also recline the seat. Oh, <gasps> well, let me see, let me see. How much can you recline it? I need to see. Wait. Oh, it was, oh, okay, okay. It was already. Oh, 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 no, 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 not my bad, my bad. So, yeah, okay, okay. It's for falling the seat, huh? Okay, it is already in the most reclined position all right all right okay okay but look look look, look. what is this yeah so there's some stuff here you can configure um uh but let's see here oh, okay hbox settings wow huh cup holder there yeah nice is it is it we also have a little table here and we have two usb-c there huh wow what a car for small people at least and here you see, there is no manual control because everything is controlled electronically here. We have light here and no cord hook. We have hook here, handle at least on all four sides, if that matters. You probably want, oh yeah, there's a speaker. Maybe, I don't know if this is also a microphone, but you probably want to use this when you enter and exit the car. And look here, Isofix cover. I love it. Oh yeah, Daddy Bjorn approved. And then here you just have to feel it with two fingers yeah where where this i can you can poke it in there but yeah yeah so that's good and you know recently i started skipping this part on most cars because it's not that interesting but i have to show you with this car it becomes challenging so first you open up this isofix covers no problem right and then you take up the isofix base and you want to fit it in okay so you want to carry it inside first and then you extend the hooks like this and already now you can see that it is somewhat tight here in the opening so i can do this i'm a small asian i can put one foot there and then i try to align it sorry for the beeping it's it's the isofix base beeping it's for safety okay now now i can push them in okay so now you push them in you see that it's green there it's green there okay push them a little bit more in there click click okay okay it's secure now but however i'll show you the challenge which is that everything has been secured, okay? And then you take up in the Cybex Cloud Z2. And then if I have some load here, 
I would I would demonstrate it better, but you know, if I have my daughter here, she's now roughly 10 kilograms with clothes especially, and you have to carry it like this, and you see it is not high enough. So you have to carry it high enough to pass, to clear. This becomes problematic, man. So I need to maybe angle it, to try to angle it holding there like this with a baby in there or a big to toddler now. And then you click it in, that's fine, all right. No problem, and then you're good, right? Zoop, all right. But the problem is that, I think I have, this is hard to show you, but okay. Uh, I think you can see it on that angle also. Um, when you want to take out Isabel, normally, I had to show from this angle. You see, most normal cars, you will have more opening in the back here, and then you can take out the child, no problem, or the baby. But here, it becomes like this because the door, this is suicide door, it opens the wrong way. Uh, so then, it is in a, in, a, in a bad angle, you see. If you just want to take out the baby and leave the seat there, then you can't do it. So what I end up doing is, I have to do it like this, all right, so that's fine. Take out the baby. Or also sometimes you run. The problem is that if you are not in the 90 degree angle, it, it applies to the Cybex. I'm not sure how it is with other. Um, if you have it in an angle like this, then you cannot detach. Yeah, so I, I you normally this would be quite hard for me to, to do physically. So I usually have to put my head over here and then just try to feel it. But you can't unlock it. You have to turn it like this 90 degree and then you unlock it Ooh. and then you have to carry all this out so it becomes cumbersome I'm not sure how else to say this and the next test I will see how much space I have in the passenger seat when we have a child seat there so you see I adjusted the seat all the way against the child seat and then this is also interesting when you try to open the door and you are in the way then it stops the only problem is that it tends to be too sensitive so Let's say if I'm standing like this, roughly, not too far away. This is normal, or you might want to stand, let's say, roughly here, right? Naturally, if you want to open a conventional door anyway. If you try to open the door, many cases, and it's like, oh, you're too close. So you end up having to do stupid shit like, uh, okay. Stretch, stretch, Ooh, like this. No, 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 what the heck, man? Dude, like, uh, wh what the heck? Huh? Was it a tripod? What? Huh? You see, this happens all the time and it annoys the heck out of me because I want to get in and out of the car. Go on, let's try it. Yes! Yeah! The slow clap. Okay, let me see. Let me see. How, how do I... Oh, oh, look at this. I have so much space now. Whoa! At least that is wonderful. I can stretch my legs all the way. And normally if I put, if I sit properly, then I have plenty of space. So at least this part is excellent. But here is the inconsistency. In the front, you can use this button to open the door. But there's no dedicated uh, button up here somewhere, right? So then you, you have to lean and stretch out and then you can close the door like this. But what is more convenient is that you open the door, right? And then you just press the brake pedal, just like a Tesla, and then it closes for you. Very convenient. So here we also have different type of... Uh, wait, 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 you see there? Um, it's like... It's like a touch. You just do this. And it's easier to show you here. Do this, right? You just swipe. But you can also click. So it's interesting, right? Yeah, until you accidentally swipe over them, like I did just now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Up, 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 up. Okay. All right. But then here we have a nice steering wheel. It has the the Cybertruck style steering wheel. See those edges? Huh? Do you see the the similarities? These buttons, by the way, for this is for cruise control, uh, adaptive, uh, the following speed, and also auto steer. Uh, I find that sometimes they don't react the way I want, and you, you can hear it, you can see it. it. It has the haptic feedback shit. Same here. This is for uh, adjusting volume or some other stuff. Uh, voice control. This is uh, what well, is you can customize. Is that a custom? I think not. Yeah, it, uh, I set it to 360 camera. So uh, there's a camera here following you, sending uh, data to China. 
And then here we also have some more cameras there. Yes, you know, they always want to pay attention to what you're doing. So interesting, by the way, is that here we have a stock. We actually have a blinker stock. This is auto high beam. It has also projector lights, uh, but there is no stock on this side. Huh? What? Wait, how do you put the car in drive? Well, it's here. So we have it here. It's freaking diamond here. In the oh, okay. Yeah, so you just, yeah, reverse drive. But you see, it is also in this direction, like like most other cars, right? You have to push, you have to push it forward to go reverse, and then you have to push it towards it to go drive. That's just how it is, right? And unlike Tesla, where you have to go the other way, yeah. But okay, anyway, I'm, I will stop complaining about Tesla now. Here we have a bridge design. There is actually some stuff under there. Yeah, I'm not sure how, but it, it is hard to access it. You see here, how do you access it on the normal drive? You, do, you can do it like this, kind of, yes. And then here we have one wireless charging pad. Just put your phone there. It cannot take two big phones, but at least asian size phones work. Then you see it now it's charging. And here we have one cup holder with a little dirt on the side there. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, and you can close it. And then we have another cup holder here. And then here we have a quite small uh, center console thing uh, room. And we have 12 volt outlet there. And then we have two USB-C there. So yeah, that's it here for central storage. And at least I haven't found it, but you can only really see it here that it doesn't have um, a glove box. So, huh, that's strange because at least normal cars, if they don't have a glove box, then there is something else here, right? It's open space in Neo, you have the, the queen seat. But here, you don't have the glove box, but uh, you don't get anything else in return either. These are not queen seats, they're just regular seats, sport seats. Looks stunning, looks awesome. It has this green shimmer. Well, it's perforated and ventilated and heated, of course, with massage, Chinese massage. You know, they are it's the best. But it's just, man, it's just so weird. And uh, yeah, we have door pocket here. Not the biggest one. I mean, open this, you see it better. Can I, can I open it? How oh. My freaking sound effect, yeah. Meridian sound system. I tested it. It actually doesn't sound that great. And this is also plastic. So for a car that cost 1.1 million nook, around 100,000 euros, I would expect metal here, not plastic. But at least the other portions here, they are nice and soft with some oh, well, uh, ventilated uh, something fabric here. It looks, it looks and feels like uh, Alcantara, huh? Wait, do they have Alcantara? Oh, they, oh, they have Alcantara. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 man. Okay, maybe this sounds a bit, uh, looks a bit cheap. Can it at least rotate? No, it, okay. Yeah, but yeah, okay. And then, yeah, for adjustment, seat adjustment, I can show you here. We have here also cyber truck style yeah <laughs> um, and then here there is no no handle for or no button for adjusting steering wheel so if you want to do that everything is done in the screen here and also i don't know if you noticed but there is no instrument cluster we have head of display and i can show you the content of the head of display at least there can it, can it focus there okay you see we see kilometers but we don't see percent state of charge but that's interesting I think this is the first car I've seen that has the range, the, the, the battery and the range uh, in the head of display, along with some other stuff. But the, the head of display is quite small. You can see it there. And so it's just slightly bigger than my palm. Uh, some other cars uh, I've seen nowadays, they have way, way bigger head of display. So yeah, and then yeah, so what, you, what, if you want to do stuff, uh, there is no, no instrument cluster. So you have driving data here. Uh, it's Tesla style, yeah. And then, if you want to adjust the steering wheel, uh, don't you even remember where the heck you're supposed to do it? And maybe it was over here. Um, yeah, here, steering wheel adjustment. And then it, it tells you how to do it, you know. Yeah. And then you have memory here and stuff. So, so yeah, I mean, I don't want to walk through all this, this uh, user interface. It is quite big and extensive. Uh, you have this, this is like a side swipe button. Uh, however, I would like that um, I could just swipe. There's you know, many cars, they have swipe. Yeah, there's a swipe notification at least. Uh, but they, oh, should, they, don't try to swipe, then you will accidentally do something else. So you have to press that one to, to enable the side uh, swipe. Uh, and you can also uh, go, uh, let me see how it is again. 
But there's more days, isn't it? No, no, I don't remember how it was. Sorry, sorry. I, I, <laughs> I have only spent a couple of days with this car. But yeah, so you see here we have the music. And also here we have the, uh, the seat settings. Wow, so very extensive seat configuration here. And then here we have HVAC settings. So you see that this is again Tesla style. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa look at that. Look at that. That is, that is insane, man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you can also in the back. Yeah, so I'm going to front. So, uh, I mean, how is this again? You can, huh, but the, where, okay, you can only go left and right. Can you not go up and down? Hmm, apparently not. Uh, yeah, okay. So, on the, the, on the side, yeah, this can be adjusted like this. So, but okay, let me show you, by the way, if you go out of HVAC settings, that what you see here is actually Unreal Engine. They are using Unreal Engine. <laughs> it, it is super smooth. Yeah, however, what is not so smooth is when you put the car in drive. Okay, let me demonstrate something here. If I go in reverse now, I'm not sure if I can demonstrate, if you can see it, if you can spot it. No, 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 let me go a little bit more forward. Okay. And then you go backwards. The frame rate on the backup camera is really poor. You can see the choppiness on the tripod, for example. That's, that's easy. If you have uh, you, if you have an object that is fairly close, so just pay attention to this. Uh, I noticed this the, the second I started using it. That it seems like it's running on 10 FPS. Well, I was like, what the heck? The car in general feels quite smooth, except for the backup camera. <laughs> so, but maybe that's not too important for you. See here, we have a uh, state of charge there. It's quite tiny letters though. You can open it like this and see bigger letter. Yeah, you can set some charge limit here. Yeah, and it's a control. this is Chinese car, so it will not show you a regular trip meter, except for that you have. Yeah, and also I, I find myself, I try to close. Uh, I try to press the cross. You can even hear me tap on it, right? Like it should be when you're, especially when you're driving, you just want to quickly tap on it. And many times when I tap, it doesn't do it. I, I don't know. Yeah. So I ha usually have to tap several times before it succeeds. So they should make it less sensitive and allow or have a little bigger, uh, like a, a wider threshold so it can close because uh, yeah, it becomes annoying when you're driving. But yeah, you have a trip meter here. You can also swipe here. So uh, I, I can't spend too much time. But one thing I need to show you is, uh, I don't remember where the heck it was again. Let me see. Um, oh, okay, okay, here it was. Okay, you click here, you go to more adjustments and then you it's called Hi-Fi Bot. It, it says even here, Hi-Fi, you see it? Hi-Fi Bot. So when you click on here, you can now adjust the, the screen if you want to have it more forward, more backward. Huh? And then you can click on the angle here and you can you can even tilt it up or down or to the side so wow huh that is pretty cool it has more adjustments than the tesla yeah just in comparison because why did i mention tesla okay you can't click here. why did i mention tesla because tesla is the only car brand that has this you can see here some of the mechanics behind it here All right, let me check headroom oh okay so i have more than a fist of clearance here that's good and I think even if I move more back for, for tall people, what about that beam? Will that beam be in the way if you, for some reason, need to push the seat all the way back? Oh, let's just try, worst case, all the way back here, right? Nope, you still don't rub into it or... Yeah, uh, depending on how tall you are, but I'm not sure if anyone will be driving in this position. I think at least they will be driving in slightly more forward position, right? And then uh, your head will be against the, the glass here. So then no problem. So plenty of headroom. And you see here we have fragrance also. Yeah, mm, very common in Chinese cars. I think it's the fragrance stuff is down here somewhere. And also uh, the side mirrors are adjusted here on the screen. You know, yeah. Um, uh, uh, that was also. And then for, for this the virtual mirror thing you have to adjust it here it's kind of a weird name it's just stream media rear view mirror like, huh? what can they stream media to the rear view mirror no this is the the adjustment so you see we have small medium large and so i can show that and now you can zoom you can zoom uh or yeah digital zoom and then you can also adjust height if you want to have it high or get, yeah so you can you have some adjustments there so yeah 
But wait, huh, wait, huh? Let me see, what does it say here? It says Li. Is this, wait, is this touchscreen? No. Is this Ligs. Ligsukram? Is that? Ligsukram. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> And when you are at the destination, you have to exit with style. No, what the heck? No, it detected the other door. Shit. Okay, but whatever. You're like, oh, yeah. And then you just. <sighs> oh. Okay, but anyway, so there you guys have it. The awesome car that looks like it could be in Back to the Future 4. So, yes. Do you like it, huh? Remember that if you want to buy this car, don't uh, get it if you have babies or you have to deal with the consequences. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.